people, welcome back and uh, Happy New Year. Um, I have done a bit more work on this trailer, so I've now uh, painted it, so this is what the frame looked like. What I did is I used an epoxy enamel and I actually used my spray putty gun. Uh, it's not really supposed to be sprayed, but I just thinned it out a little bit and come up awesome actually, so I'm very happy with that. Two coats, um, it was quite easy to do and you know, for a trailer, that's better than uh, a normal finish. I uh, did the underneath of the trailer first and the sides and then once that was done I just uh, tipped it over and did the, the more visible side. You can see a bit of a reflection there of how good the paint turned out. Uh, and then what I've done, I've started to put the aluminium on so there's still a bit more work. Uh, but one thing I did find was uh, I've got the checker plate on the outside because I want it to be easy to clean. And you'll notice here I found these really cool stainless steel rivets that are countersunk. So once they go in, um, they just flush with the metal, which is awesome. So if you use a shovel or something, it won't pick up on the rivet. So I hadn't seen those before, but um, they work brilliantly. So very happy with that. I uh, just need a few more rivets and I'll finish that off. Also been getting into the front end, so I've fully welded this up now. You can see the third vent. And I'll put those little, uh, I don't know, wheel arches, I guess you call them. I think turned out all right. And uh, I've messed about and got the lights to fit pretty well. Probably needs just a bit more fine tuning, but they're 99% there now. And that bottom base come up good. So the next challenge is really the cutter. Uh, there's not much room left. I've got to figure out how to put the linkage in, how this thing's going to go up and down, and how I'm going to drive it. So um, I'm actually, if you notice very carefully, that is 180 degrees different to what it come out in the normal mower but that's how I want it to be. I'm uh, just cutting this because the this is to um, get the height to go up and down and it was a little bit too far out since I modified the width of the of the bodywork so I've welded a hole up there I just cut it again and I've moved it in about 80 mil or so which I think is a much better spot. So uh, there's a bit more work. I'm going to change the gearing of these sprockets, so they're both 15s there, and I'm going to probably go 13 and 17 just to, to uh, try to speed it up a bit so that the uh, cutter will go a bit faster. So anyway, there's the height adjustment there, and you can see that center console, that little display there is actually an RPM meter, and that's going to be to tell me what the RPM is the cutters themselves. So uh, it's coming along. I'm going to fit some struts too in this bonnet. But a uh, fair bit still to go, so stay tuned.